Welcome to this UNSW Learning Spaces AV Help video. The AMX touch panel is located on the lectern in the room. If it is blank, touch the screen to wake the panel. When you touch the panel, you will see this page. The system on button is in the bottom right hand corner. Touch this button to turn the system on. It will take around 30 to 40 seconds for the system to power up. If you haven't already done so, you should log into the internal PC using the mouse and keyboard supplied. If you have any issues with your Z number or Z password, you should contact the UNSW IT Centre on extension 51333 from the help phone on the lectern. When the system is powered up, you will be presented with the home screen. Press the internal computer button to bring up your display options. Some lecture theatres have the option of dual projectors. If you are in one of these venues, the touch panel will display the two projector display options seen here. In rooms with integrated lighting control, you will be asked if you want to dim the room lights. You will need to select yes or no before moving on to use other controls on the panel. In dual projection rooms, your selected video input can be displayed on projector 1 or 2 or both. You can also adjust the size, toggle on or off and freeze the image by selecting the relevant buttons on this page. Pressing the projector icon will automatically turn on the projector and lower the relevant screen. A delay of 10 to 20 seconds may occur before the projector is warmed up and fully operational. To adjust the source volume, press the volume control button at the bottom of the touch panel display. The source volume fader can be used to raise or lower the PC volume. There is also a source mute button located on this page. If you cannot hear the PC through the system in the room, check the volume control of the PC itself. This is located in the start menu under all programs volume control. In dual projection theatres, it is important to note that only the sound from the last selected input will be heard on the room speakers. For example, a lecturer wants to present the document camera on one projector and present a video clip from the internal PC on the other projector. In order for the video clip's audio to play through the speakers, they should follow this two-step process in this order. Step 1. Send the document camera to projector 1. Step 2. Select internal PC to display on projector 2. This order of steps ensures the PC audio is audible from the theatre speaker system. Finally, the system off button will enable you to shut down the system. Selecting complete shutdown will turn the projectors off, raise the screens and power the system down. Room lighting will remain on, but you can turn the room lights off at the theatre doors. Selecting individual projector shutdown buttons turns the corresponding projectors off but the audio system remains active. If your lectures are on during the day, it's probably a good idea to leave the system on so that the next lecturer does not have to power the system on. If your lecture is the last one for the day, then it is best to power down the system. Before you leave the room, it is also very important to log off the internal computer. For immediate AV assistance, you can call extension number 54888 from the lectern help phone to contact a learning spaces technician. A technician is available to take your call between the hours of 8am to 8pm Monday to Friday and on Saturdays between 9am to 5pm.